What's up guys, how you all doing? So as most of you know, I've moved house recently. So what that means is I've got a completely new room set up here. Some of you have kind of seen little snickets of that. But what I'm gonna do is for my vlog viewers, I'm gonna bring you a mini room tour before I actually put the main one up on my main channel, Mr. Tybox123. Now the main one's usually about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna try and keep this one down to about 10 or 15 minutes, but it just gives you guys a good preview as to how I've got everything set up now in my new room. Now I'm waiting for about three or four kind of objects to come in, so it's gonna change a little bit more before the main one, so make sure you check out the new one when that goes online in a couple of weeks. But like I say beforehand, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak preview of what I've got set up here. Now just to let you know before we start, this video is actually sponsored by one of my companies and that is Honey Management. You can check them out at honey-management.com and we provide beautiful professional girls to help you promote your business, whether that be an exhibition or a product launch or anything like that whatsoever. You can check out all the services we provide over at honey-management.com. Now anyway guys, let's get into this room tour and give you guys that preview of the main room tour. So here we go guys, this is basically my main desk as I look at it and I sit at this most of the time to do all of the work that I need to be able to do. And the monitors, as most of you know, are made up of three 24 inch Dell LED displays on the top. And then on the bottom, we've got my three 27 inch Apple Cinema displays. And I absolutely love these monitors. They've got the most amazing resolution, the most amazing saturation, and they're just all round the best monitor that you can buy but they are very expensive. So let's work our way along here. Over on the wall, I've actually got my iMac G5 mirror. So that's the front casing of a real iMac G5 with a mirror in the back of it. And that's obviously reflecting there back across my desk. Absolutely love that. On the side here, we've got the Blue Yeti microphone, which is a fantastic microphone, great audio quality and a good price as well. Next to that, I've got a little picture there of me and the missus there, Jade. And then just below that, we've got the Blackberry Playbook. Now sitting behind all of this, I've got the head unit for my Logitech sound system, along with the sub there on the floor. And then I've actually got a Netgear Gigabit Ethernet router on the top that I use for connecting all of my machines together. And sitting just there is the Synology DS412 Plus NAS, and I've got four two terabyte hard drives in that, and that is the most fantastic NAS that money can buy. It's absolutely incredible, ridiculously fast, great interface, and a great all round product. Now over on the desk here, first of all, we've got my 11 inch 2011 MacBook Air. This one is got four gigabytes of RAM and it's got the 128 gigabyte SSD and I use that when I'm traveling quite far and I don't want to carry any bulk around with me. Up there we've got two of my remote controls. The one on the left is actually a remote control for all of the lighting in my room. If I want to add a whole bunch of extra light, I can just press the button and it will add a lot of extra light into the room. I don't know if you guys can notice the difference there. Just turn them off. Next to that, I've got the remote for my Logitech sound system. And then as we move across, I've got the BlackBerry Porsche Design P9981, which I absolutely love. Fantastic phone, although a ridiculous price. Now, I'm testing this phone at the moment. This is the HTC One X, so that's just there because I'm testing it for review. I've got my main phone there, which is the iPhone 4S, the 64 gig white version. And then here in the middle, in the background there, you can see I've got my Steve Jobs iHub, which are a great little bit of kit you can pick up from eBay for about six pounds. There's a review of all of these things on my channel and I'll leave some links in the description to a lot of these things so you can check them out. There we've got the Zoom H2N microphone, which is actually my preferred microphone of choice for doing live streams and voiceovers. Fantastic microphone, very versatile. You can pick it up, you can put it on your camcorder, your DSLR, you can plug it in via USB, or you can use it standalone. And then here, I've got two of the rings that you'll see me wearing quite a lot in my videos. Uh, they're from Bulgari, and I've got those in black and white in rose gold. As we move over here, I've got a little pen knife there and we've got the magic trackpad as well just sitting on top of the bottom of the stand there for the cinema display. I've got the magic mouse and then I've got the wired keyboard 
because I just hate the wireless keyboard. Um, I have actually got the wireless keyboard just underneath here, but I don't really use it because I just like having the number pad on the side. But I wish Apple would bring out one that actually was wireless. Now here we've got the 2011, the late 2011 MacBook Pro. It's got the high definition display, or sorry, the higher resolution display. It's got a 256 gigabyte crucial SSD. And again, there's a video for the review of all of this stuff over on my channel, and I'll leave those links down in the descriptions below. But absolutely love my MacBook Pro. If I'm going up to London or not too far of a journey, this is the particular laptop that I'll take with me. If it's a bit further or I'm going on a plane, then I'll take the 11 inch MacBook Air with me. Now if we just come round to the back here, I've got my little saxophone player that someone gave me because I play the saxophone. I've got two of the speakers from my Logitech sound system there. And then you can see the back of everything and I've actually got these little cable management things here that you can buy from Ikea for about four pounds for about five meters that I use to just keep all my cables nice and neat and tidy without having them kind of going everywhere. On the floor here I've got my October 2010 Mac Pro. This is the uh, single processor quad core Xeon. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's also got four two terabyte hard drives in a RAID 0 to give some nice fast throughput. Got some storage there on the side, little picture again of me and Jade, and then there's one of those boxes for the Devolo units that enable you to run your networking through your electricity supply in your house. And again, there's a review of that up on the channel. Got more storage down there on the side. And then also, if I actually pull out my chair from under my desk, you can see I have a whole load of storage just placed under there that hide all the cables and give you a ridiculous amount of storage as well. Now the actual desk that all of this is sitting on is a Quicklock Z600. If you Google that, you'll be able to find it. And as you can see from the side, it actually is made up of two different levels and that's what I've got the rear monitors sitting on there. Now my chair, a lot of people ask about that. It's just an ergonomic chair. I got it from, I think, Viking Direct for about £100 or something like that. Very comfortable, pretty cheap as well. Now, over here, let's just move the chair out of the way, is my kind of white Apple table uh, next to the G5 iMac mirror. And the table itself you can get from Staples, and it's £99. And on top of that, I've got the 20 inch iMac G4, which is my favorite Mac of all time. Definitely the most beautiful Mac that was ever built. And I just love this. If I'm doing some simple browsing, then I always come over and just spin around and use this machine. And it's a kind of nice sort of placid environment whereby you can just sit at your desk and just be really chilled out. Over there, I've got the third generation iPad this is the one with the retina display. It's the 32 gig 4G version. Also next to the iMac, I've got the Magic Mouse, which works perfectly well with the old iMac G4 there. I've got a little display clock there, which actually shows you the temperature and the humidity and the time and date, etc. Just a nice little thing that I picked up from Amazon for about five pounds. And then here, I've got a little iPod or iPhone stand which I actually picked up from eBay for about 15 or 20 pounds. And it actually contains speakers as well and charges your iPhone, but it also kind of has the same look and feel to it as the iMac G4, so I thought that was kind of cool. And then sitting behind that is an old iBook as well that's in pristine condition. I've got the box and everything for that. Absolutely love the old iBook. And then down below, Underneath, I don't know if you can see, but I've got like a blue mood light in there. You can't really see it that well in this kind of lighting. And now I've just got a whole range of products in there that I'm waiting to review. Got some great 5.1 speakers there from the British company O-Tone. Um, some other ones over there that I've already reviewed. Some Synology stuff. Um, loads and loads of little bits that I'm just waiting to review at the moment. So that's a kind of view of my little white desk there. I've got this little desk, uh, sorry, floor standing fan that just literally just you know blows cold air around the room and then I've got a couple of tripods here 
Now on top of one of the tripods, I've got my defocus follow focus system that enables me to use the manual focus a lot more simply on my D7000 here, rather than actually having to turn it itself. And this is just a fantastic bit of kit here from defocus. You can check those guys out. I'll be doing a video on that fairly shortly. This is my Nikon D7000. Absolutely love this, although I'm gonna be upgrading it soon to a Nikon D800. Sitting on the top of that, we've got the Sigma 17 to 70 f2.8 lens. Fantastic lens that I use quite a lot for my videos. And then we've just got another tripod here that I use for my camcorder. Now over in this side of the room, first of all, Bruce Lee, massive, massive fan of Bruce Lee. I've got that Bruce Lee painting there, and then I've also got my Think Different Bruce Lee picture that there is also a video of if you wanna check that out. On top of this little unit, I've got the iMac G3, and this is actually the snow edition, so it's quite rare. I don't ever use it, but I just like the look of it, so that just sits over there like a, just something that kind of adds to the room, complements it, makes it feel a bit more homely. Got a stack of drawers there. Now, up on the wall, I've got some shelves. Let's just go through what we've got. So I've got an app racer with a little tripod behind it, and the app racer you can control completely with your eye device, pretty cool. I've got my first pair of tie boxing gloves there from uh, my gym, which is called Semtex, and a little Ed Hardy candle that one of my friends bought me. I've got my bonsai tree, which I absolutely love and take great care of. And then I've got, uh, on the left-hand side, I've got an app copter, which is the same as the app racer, but you can actually fly it from your iPhone or your iPad. Got a little Lego helicopter there that I built for my son uh, using Lego, obviously. And then I've got a flask lens that is actually just a cup um, that looks like a Nikon lens. So that's the top shelf. Now over here, I've got these two tiny little mirror book airs. And again, you can see the video for those on my channel. In the background there's a picture of my little boy, George. Uh, he's seven years old. I've uh, got another little eye hub there just on the shelf. A uh, little box for, from some cufflinks. Got my Al Pacino picture there in the background. And then I've got uh, a couple of my Brightling watches there in the, that little ashtray thing. Little selection of some of my aftershaves. Got one of the uh, movie pro cameras there, which is a great little kind of action camera that you can use and clip onto anything. And then I've got these two little cups in the background that are actually Lord of the Rings cups, they're limited edition ones. And then I've got my Steve Jobs character here just on the front. And again, all of these things you can pretty much see a video for, and I'll leave links to those in the descriptions. But if you can't find them, then just go to even my main channel or this channel and just do a search on the channel and you'll find those videos. So that's that corner there. Um, down below my window here, I've got my Arsenal poster. So that's got all of my heroes of Highbury. I'm a massive Arsenal fan, and these were all of my kind of top people here, my top players, obviously with my favourite ever being Dennis Burkamp. for those of you that know anything about football. Uh, there's my window <laughs> there uh, with a blind on it and also there's my car sitting outside as well, it's a BMW 6 Series. And then on the shelf I've got a candle, I've got my Duopod tripod there from VO which is a great little unit. And then I've also got a tiny little tripod there that I just use for various bits and pieces. On the floor next to my Arsenal poster, I've got my rucksack. And that's what I use to carry around all of my laptops or anything that I'm going to be taking with me. On the left hand side here, just got a little unit again with the Canon MP640 printer on the top of it. And then here in the corner, I've got a 56 inch sharp LED full HD TV got the little, what is that thing called again, the Roku box there on the side that I'm gonna be reviewing shortly, Sky, and then I've got the Xbox 360, which is beautifully wrapped in iCarbon there, if you can see that. <coughs> now, over here on the side um, is my camera bag, and inside that bag are all my lenses and all my different flashes and things like that for my photography. And then we've got this unit here. Now, first of all, I've got this little Apple kind of neon light here that's pretty cool with Steve Jobs' face etched in the side of it. 
and again there is a video for that as well on my vlog channel I've got that little light there as well lava lamp and then I've just got some boxes of some more stuff that I'm actually testing out at the moment got the box for the Sony Xperia S um, and also I've got this little Lego thing here that I use in some of my videos for testing out the cameras on phones in fact that's actually my little boys and then if we open up my cupboard let's see what we've got in here uh, I've got some USB hard drives there all sort of one two terabytes that I use for backing up and storage and then I've got all of my chargers and stuff here for my cameras and my phones as well so I've got the Galaxy Nexus there which I use for vlogs and whatnot and then I've got the Bold 9900 which I use for running my one of my businesses Honey Management and then I've got a charger there for my Nikon camera and there's the case for uh, my BlackBerry Bold 9900 and the camera battery there as well for the Nikon D7000. Down on the bottom I've got my slider which I use for some of my videos, I've got my Lilliput screen, a whole bunch of boxes and various other bits and pieces in there and that's just kind of my little sort of junk charging cupboard. Um, I need to actually go through that and sort that out so it's uh, all a bit neater and tidier but that will all be done in time for the main video. Now moving our way round I've got the kind of double doors there that go out into my uh, hallway and then up here in its pride of place I've got my Apple G5 base clock. Now again there's a video for this as well up on the channel so you can check that out. Let's just close that door just so you can see how cool it looks just sitting up there on the wall. Absolutely love that. Fantastic, it looks beautiful just taking its pride of place there. And then as we work our way back round we're back onto my screens again. Now actually on the floor as well I've got this like plastic mat that stops the, uh, the chair damaging the carpet as well. So anyway guys that's pretty much it. 15 minutes I've kind of crammed that into. I know I waffled and waffled and went really really fast but hopefully it gives you an idea of some of the new kind of things I've got to set up in my new office. And thanks very much for watching guys. Please do leave all of your questions and comments below. Please do hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Check out all those links in the description for some of these other videos. And I will see you all in the next one. See ya.